Yeah, well, you know, there's different type of counts. There's a long count when the quarterback goes hot, hot, hot. That's a long count. A staccato count, which I mean means a broken count, where the guy go out, says you're going to go on go, he'd say, go, 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 go. You yeah. know, and that drives, you know, it's meant to drive people off sides. And a hard count is when you change the expression, you come out and say, go, 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 go. So it's right. all planned, believe me. It's a, it's a big game of chess. First and ten for Maryland. They get the first down on the measurement. Marcus Badgett in motion to the right side. Zolak is back to pass. Lubin Fatty is a shot at him. He gets away. Throws the ball. Completes it to Bowley at the Penn State 40. And he's out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Derek Bonna there to push him out of bounds. Another Maryland first down. Okay, that was a good job by Zolak because Ben Fatty had pressure on him. But Lou learned, he's a youngster, that you don't reach for the quarterbacks. You've got to run over them if you're going to sack them. So Maryland down to the Penn State 37-yard line as they begin to penetrate. 9.15 to go in the game. And Maryland down by a couple of touchdowns. Wide receivers split to each side. Lone setback, Troy Jackson. He takes the handoff, goes straight down the middle. Ben Fatty got a shot at him at the ankle, and then Rich McKenzie finished him off, but he picked up about seven yards on the play to the 30-yard line. Yeah, they ran a play up in the inside, and the McKenzie's a little, a little slow closing. 21 carries for 50 yards for Troy Jackson. Penn State brings in their second defensive line. That means Todd Berger, Toyoka Jackson, and Mark Flight come into the game as a unit. Well, he wants to get that first unit ready in case Maryland scores for the last part of the game. Second down and three to go for the first down for the Terps. Two wide outs to the far side. Zolak rolls that way, looking to fire. He dumps off for Phillips, and he can't hang on. Incomplete. But they got caught to the inside again. He got outside of contain. You see, they brought a new uh, bunch of defensive players. They came right out with the bootleg, and he got outside, and Penn State was fortunate that was a bad pass. Third down and three to go, the situation now. Vance Phillips could not come up with that catch. Surprising that I'm not sure if uh, Frank Whitecheck was injured or not, but we haven't seen a lot of Whitecheck in the second half. Well, he's their leading receiver. Right. That's surprising. The, the man that got out, they got caught in, uh, inside that time was Flight. Johnson and Thomas to the right side. Now here's Barry Johnson in motion to the left, and Zolak takes a straight drop this time. Throws over the middle, completes it down to the 20 into the 17-yard line to Brett Stevenson. Keith Goganis makes the tackle, but Maryland picks up another first down. Down, well, that's just a quick pass to the tight end. That, that was a, a good play selection and well executed. Just enough to get that first down. They had three. They got about eight. So a first down at the Penn State 17-yard line, and the defense trying to stiffen it up. Wide outs to either side. Phillips on the left side wing. Troy Jackson is a lone setback behind Zolak. Zolak hands off to Jackson straight up the middle. He cuts it back to the left. Todd Berger got a piece of him. Then Toyoka Jackson finished him off after a gain of two on the play. Second down and eight to go. Well, Berger slowed him up, but he should have had him in the backfield. Ball placed at the 19-yard line. We'll give him a three-yard gain. Second down and seven to go. Yeah, uh, as I said, Penn State will be content to let uh, Merlin run the football as, as, much, as many times as they want. Seven minutes and 40 seconds to go in the game. Clock continues to run. Johnson and Thomas both split out to the right side, and Phillips is on that right side wing, so trips to the right, but now Johnson in motion back to the left side again. On second down, it's Zolak faking, rolling to his right, looking to throw, has some room to run, he will, he's to the 10, and down to the 8-yard line. Reggie Givens made sure he went down there, he's a little bit short of the first down of the 8-yard line. Yeah, but Bill, they're getting caught and inside, the outside linebackers are getting caught in, inside, and he's getting outside the contain, and here comes substitute. You gotta, you gotta keep him inside. You can't let him get outside. Once he get out, gets outside, he puts pressure on the linebacker and the deep people. They can't get, come up or he'll complete a pass maybe for a touchdown so he can run it. The first unit defensive line back into the game and Eric Rabati also comes in and Derek Bonner goes out. So Penn State will operate with an extra linebacker in this situation and three defensive backs. Here's the handoff to Troy Jackson, runs right into Reggie Givens at the line of scrimmage, and falls forward, and we'll have to see about this mark. It was a third down and very short. Well, they'd have to give him a super mark on that if he did, to give them the first down. Givens hit him right at the line of scrimmage. Not only did he hit him, he stopped him in his tracks, and actually, I thought he lost a little bit. We'll have a measurement. 
They'll bring the chains in. Ball is just about in the middle of the field between the hash marks at the 12-yard line. And chains come on for the measurement. 624 to go in this game. The old left foot, right foot deal. Chains are stretched and they are short. Well, you know, at this, you know, with this juncture in the game and with the score as it is, Maryland's going to go for it. They have to, they have to try and get a touchdown. So a fourth down and very short situation. And Penn State better be looking for that bootleg action because they've been, last series they've been, uh, been hurt real bad with it. Doug Stump into the game and another fullback slot. Now he shifts on. They've got a double wing setup with Troy Jackson alone setback and the quarterback sneak by Zolak. He only oh. needed about a foot. He got it, Bill. All right. Now, they better be careful with that uh, two tight end, two wing back set because they scored a touchdown on that in, a, in the first uh, half where they brought one wing back behind the line of scrimmage against the flow of the play. He sneaked out in the flat, and he was wide open. So Maryland converting on the fourth down and short, we think. The officials well, are going to measure again. Well, he, he, he sure looked like he got I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he didn't. Let's see. They bring the change from the sideline, and it looked like he got it. But just to make sure, the officials bring him out, stretch the chains, and it's a first down for Maryland by a good margin. So the Terps have a first and goal from the Penn State six-yard line. That's a tough position. That might sound uh, silly, but uh, it's tough to get it in there. The closer you get running the football, and uh, I'm sure they're going to have to throw a few times. First and goal. And they come out of the huddle and send Johnson and Thomas to the left side. Phillips on the left side wing. Troy Jackson all by himself behind Zolak. Now Johnson in motion back to the right. Fake pitch. Zolak looking to throw. He fires it. Batted down. Lou Benfatti knocked the ball down at the line of scrimmage. Well, they came with that blitz again. They moved the Gauganis to the outside. He's always been very effective. Got into Zolak's face. And it was batted down by Benfatti. Had to get rid of the ball real quick. And that was the pass. Ball almost hit Ben Fatty in the helmet. He's not very high off the ground. They might go to a quarterback drawer or something in here, which has been effective against Penn State's rush. Second down and goal from the six-yard line. Johnson to the left, Thomas to the right. Regular wing back set up. Now Phillips, the wing back in motion, comes back to the near side. Here is the little alley-oop pattern to Johnson in the end zone. Incomplete. Leonard Humphreys on the coverage. And no go. Third down and goal for the Terps. Well, Leonard had great coverage. He had body position on the inside out on the receiver, and that, that's the way to play. Now, remember again, if they show up in the two tight ends and two wing backs, Penn State better be alert for that play that they scored their first touchdown. In. Yep. Third down play. Maryland trying to punch it in for the touchdown here. Wide receiver split to either side. Phillips on the left side wing. A regular setup for the Terrapins. Third down and goal from the six. Motion by Phillips. And here's Zolak. Again, taking that short drop. He pumps. He fires incomplete. Behind the intended receiver, Derek Bonner was on the coverage on Barry Johnson. Well, D'Onofrio got in there, put some pressure on him. Now it's fourth down. This is a great stand for Penn State. Fourth down and, and uh, goal uh, for Maryland. Fourth and goal from the six-yard line for the Terps. Here's where the coach reaches into that old bag for the tricks. Yep. Fourth down, Zolak looking over to the sideline. He gets the signal of the play from there. And let's see what the Terps come up with. Penn State's defense ready to go. Regular setup, wide receiver split to each side. And a timeout has been signaled as we will have a break in the action. We've got a timeout call. So with that break, we'll take timeout for a word from our local station. Penn State leading Maryland 24 to 10. This is the Penn State Sports Network.
Fills in for in George Paterno at Beaver Stadium, 5.35 to go in the game. Penn State up by 14. Maryland's got a fourth down and goal from the sixth. This is the 18th play of this drive, and they have absorbed more than four and a half minutes off of the clock so far in this drive. Yeah, and this is pretty much the ball game as far as Maryland is concerned. They like to come out with that bootleg off this. They go with a regular setup. Johnson left, Thomas to the right, Phillips on the wing, he goes in motion to the right side. Rolling right is Zolak, stops, throws into the end zone, incomplete! It was intended for Gene Thomas in the end zone, deep in the end zone, but Penn State will take over on downs at the six. Well, Bill, what they did, they came with a semi-roll, and the outside linebacker and Janetti got right in his face again, made him throw the ball, and it was an incomplete pass. Great stand by Penn State. And Tom Bill is coming into the game at quarterback for Penn State. So Tom Bill makes an entrance with 5.30 to go. Tony Saka finishing his day, 8 of 16 for 162 yards and a touchdown. Had a great third quarter of this game. Penn State first and 10 from their own six. Both wide outs to the near side. Backs are in a split set behind Tom Bill. Bill on first down, hands off to Leroy Thompson. Finds a bit of a crack up the middle and gets to the 10-yard line. Rick Fleece. Has been busy all day at nose guard, and he got a chunk of Leroy again. Well, as I said, those down three people were very good, and uh, Page is an excellent linebacker. They got a lot of good plays, Merrill, and they always do. You just got to check the pro ranks, find out how many are in there. Second down and six to go after a gain of four. Penn State coming in with Chip LaBarca at wide receiver. He splits to the right side along with David Daniels. Gash and Thompson in the backfield in a split set. And off to Sam Gash this time. Bounces out to the right and will not get around the corner this time. He is pulled down by Larry Webster, the defensive tackle. For no gain, maybe a loss of a yard on the play. It'll be a third down and seven to go. Yeah, Sam just, just doesn't have that much speed to get outside. And, uh, you know, they have good inside linebackers. Uh, Whittier was out there, too, uh, preventing uh, from Sam from cutting back. Maryland's defense ready to go and Penn State with a third down and a passing situation Tom Bill could throw for the first time today Terry Smith in motion from right to left Ron Reagan following him across the formation and the draw play goes to Leroy Thompson has a hole up the middle 15 20 and 22 where Ron Reagan makes a tackle along with Bill Inge but a Penn State first down well that's poor defense on Maryland's part that time there's no way Penn State was going to throw that football up by two, down deep in their own territory, and they went to the draw play, but Maryland played play for the pass. Leroy Thompson unofficially, 117 yards on 23 carries. First down, Penn State, Chip LaBarca in at wideout. He and David Daniels split to the right side. That's the short side of the field. And now LaBarca in motion back to the left. Bill hands off to Leroy Thompson, sweeping left, makes a move and gets to the outside. He's to the 25, the 30. Thompson to the 35, bumped out of bounds at the 37-yard line by Bill In. Well, you know, Leroy is running like he did before he got that toe. You know, he's got great acceleration. He's, he's at his best when he gets upfield. Once in a while, he makes a wrong decision on his cut. But once he gets upfield, he's a fine back. 132 yards unofficially now for Leroy Thompson. Troy Drayton into the game at wide out. He and LaBarca, a wide receiver tandem, both to the left side. Split set of the backfield behind Bill. First and 10, Penn State at their own 37. Three and a half minutes to go in the game. Hand off to Gash, straight up the middle. Sam blasting his way out to the 39-yard line before he is stopped. Gain of three on the play. Second down and seven to go. Michael Hollis in the thick of the action. But Tom Bill has directed this offense all on the ground here, out to the 40-yard line. After Penn State took over at their own six. You, you know, Bill, just a, uh, a thought for people to conjecture on out there or think about. Now, everybody thought that Joe Paterno was going to come in with Tom Bill in the third quarter, and then Saka comes out and has a great third yeah. quarter, so you never know. Third down play, both, both wideouts to the near side of the field. Backs are in an eye formation. Here's the counter play, the draw play to Leroy Thompson. Stacked up in the backfield and pulled down at the 32-yard line by Carl Leroy Edwards. Thompson. Well, I no sooner got it out of my mouth and I said that sometimes he makes the wrong decision. He stumbled a little bit, but they were kicking out that linebacker on the outside, and his cut was to be inside. He tried to get outside again and was thrown for a Edwards did a good job of fending off the block by Dave Brzezinczyk. 
And it'll be a third down and 14 to go for the Lions. He might throw here, bro. Drayton splits to the right. Tyson Thomas to the left. Eye formation. Straight eye with Gash and Thompson. Now Tyson Thomas in motion to the right side. And Tom Bill is going to run the draw play again. Hands off to Leroy Thompson who bounces to the outside. 35-40. Leroy Thompson driven out of bounds at the 42-yard line by Leroy Bill Thompson, Inge. Short of the first down at the 42. It'll be a fourth down for the Lions. But it, it, you know what it is? It puts Penn State in a kicking situation, obviously. But if they get the punt off, Maryland's going to be deep in their own territory. Doug Helkowski to kick it away from his own 30. And Dennis Hobson, Mike Hobson, rather, the deep man for Maryland at his own 23-yard line. He's waiting for it. And Helkowski. <laughs> from the six yard line for the Terps. Here's where the coach reaches into that old bag for the tricks. Yep. Fourth down, Zolak looking over to the sideline. He gets the signal of the play from there. And let's see what the Terps come up with. Penn State's defense ready to go. Regular setup, wide receiver split to each side and a timeout has been signaled as we will have a break in the action. We've got a timeout call. So with that break, we'll take timeout for a word from our local stations. Penn State leading Maryland 24 to 10. This is the Penn State Sports Network. Bill Zimfer and George Paterno at Beaver Stadium, 535 to go in the game. Penn State up by 14. Maryland's got a fourth down and goal from the sixth. This is the 18th play of this drive, and they have absorbed more than four and a half minutes off of the clock so far in this drive. Yeah, and this is pretty much the ball game as far as Maryland, Maryland is concerned. They like to come out with that bootleg off this. They go with a regular setup. Johnson left, Thomas to the right, Phillips on the wing, he goes in motion to the right side. Rolling right is Zolak, stops, throws into the end zone, incomplete! It was intended for Gene Thomas in the end zone, deep in the end zone, but Penn State will take over on downs at the six. Well, Bill, what they did, they came with a semi-roll, and the outside linebacker and Janetti got right in his face again, made him throw the ball, and it was an incomplete pass. Great stand by Penn State. And Tom Bill is coming into the game at quarterback for Penn State. So Tom Bill makes an entrance with 5.30 to go. Tony Saka finishing his day, 8 of 16 for 162 yards and a touchdown. Had a great third quarter of this game. Penn State first and 10 from their own six. Both wide outs to the near side. Backs are in a split set behind Tom Bill. Bill on first down, hands off to Leroy Thompson. Finds a bit of a crack up the middle and gets to the 10-yard line. Rick Fleece. Has been busy all day at nose guard, and he got a chunk of Leroy again. Well, as I said, those down three people were very good, and uh, Page is an excellent linebacker. They got a lot of good plays, Merrill, and they always do. You just got to check the pro ranks, find out how many are in there. Second down and six to go after a gain of four. Penn State coming in with Chip LaBarca at wide receiver. He splits to the right side along with David Daniels. Gash and Thompson in the backfield. 
in a split set. Hand off to Sam Gash this time. Bounces out to the right and will not get around the corner this time. He is pulled down by Larry Webster, the defensive tackle, for no gain. Maybe a loss of a yard on the play. It'll be a third down and seven to go. Yeah, Sam just, just doesn't have that much speed to get outside. And, uh, you know, they have good inside linebackers. Uh, Awidia was out there, too, uh, preventing uh, from Sam from cutting back. Maryland's defense ready to go and Penn State with a third down and a passing situation Tom Bill could throw for the first time today Terry Smith in motion from right to left Ron Reagan following him across the formation and the draw play goes to Leroy Thompson has a hole up the middle 15 20 and 22 where Ron Reagan makes a tackle along with Bill Inge but a Penn State first down well that's poor defense on Maryland's part that time there's no way Penn State was going to throw that football up by two down deep in their own territory and they went to the draw play but Maryland played play for the pass Leroy Thompson unofficially 117 yards on 23 carries first down Penn State Chip LaBarca in it wide out he and David Daniel split to the right side that's the short side of the field and now LaBarca in motion back to the left Bill hands off to Leroy Thompson sweeping left makes a move and gets to the outside east of the 25 the 30 Thompson to the 35 bumped out of bounds at the 37 yard line by Bill in well you know Leroy is running like he did before he got that toe you know he's got great acceleration he's he's at his best when he gets upfield once in a while he makes a wrong decision on his cut but once he gets upfield he's a fine back 132 yards unofficially now for Leroy Thompson Troy Drayton into the game at wide out. He and LaBarca, the wide receiver tandem, both to the left side. Split set of the backfield behind Bill. First and 10, Penn State at their own 37. Three and a half minutes to go in the game. Hand off to Gash, straight up the middle. Sam blasting his way out to the 39-yard line before he is stopped. Gain of three on the play. Second down and seven to go. Michael Hollis in the thick of the action. But Tom Bill has directed this offense all on the ground here out to the 40 yard line after Penn State took over at their own six. You know, Bill, just a, a thought for people to conjecture on out there or think about. Now, everybody thought that Joe Paterno was going to come in with Tom Bill in the third quarter, and then Saka comes out and has a great third yeah. quarter, so you never know. Third down play, both, both wideouts to the near side of the field. Baxter in an eye formation. Here's the counter play, the draw play to Leroy Thompson, stacked up in the backfield and pulled down at the 32-yard line by Carl Leroy Edwards. Thompson. Well, I no sooner got it out of my mouth and I said that sometimes he makes the wrong decision. He stumbled a little bit, but they were kicking out that linebacker on the outside, and his cut was to be inside. He tried to get outside again and was thrown for a loss. Edwards did a good job of fending off the block by Dave Brzezinczyk. And it'll be a third down and 14 to go for the Lions. He might throw here, bro. From Drayton splits to the right. Tyson Thomas to the left. Eye formation, straight eye with Gash and Thompson. Now Tyson Thomas in motion to the right side. And Tom Bill is going to run the draw play again. Hands off to Leroy Thompson, who bounces to the outside. 35, 40. Leroy Thompson driven out of bounds at the 42-yard line by Bill Inge. Short of the first down at the 42. It'll be a fourth down for the Lions. But it, it, you know what it is? It puts Penn State in a kicking situation, obviously. But if they get the punt off, Maryland's going to be deep in their own territory. Doug Helkowski to kick it away from his own 30. And Dennis Hobson, Mike Hobson, rather, the deep man for Maryland at his own 23-yard line. He's waiting for it. And Helkowski will boot it away with 2.04 to go. And Penn State up by 14, 24 to 10. And you know they're going to go for the block. They have to go for the block. Ten men up on the line of scrimmage for the Terps. Snap to Helkowski, pressure's on, but he gets it away. Nice kick, too. Goes to Hobson at the 14-yard line. He picks it up on a bounce at the 11. He's out to the 15, the 20. Hernan Henderson has him there and drives him out of bounds at the 21-yard line. So Maryland's got it after a 47-yard punt. First and 10 at their own 21. You know, kickers don't get enough credit because, you know, they're not into the main action. But Helkowski, some valuable weapon because they almost block that. He has tremendous poise. And he's got good hands. He can feel some of the center snaps that aren't perfect. He did it that time. Got a great kick away. First and 10 for Maryland. Zolak brings him out with a minute 55 to go. Three wide receiver set up for Maryland. Third wide receiver is Marcus Badgett. He's on the left side along with Gene Thomas. 
Colvin, the lone setback. And Zolak, short dump off pass, incomplete. Just dropped by Brett Bowley, the tight end. Second down and 10 to go. Well, he, he was covered. He wasn't going to run very far with that ball. The passing attack of Maryland, which has been averaging 265 yards, has been held well under that today. Well, Penn State has a reputation, characteristically wise, in the second half as being one of the best teams in football because they make excellent uh, adjustments at halftime. Second down and 10 to go. Here's Zolak. Back to pass. He throws to the sideline. Incomplete. Barry Johnson intended. Receiver Zolak ends up on the seat of his pants with Jim Dieter on top of it. Third down and 10 to go. Just 130 yards passing on the day for Zolak. Well, they came in in Maryland primed up for this game. They pumped up, primed up, and uh, the whole schmear. They felt that they had a good chance. They played well against Michigan, Clemson, and Georgia Tech. And with the week off, they thought they had an excellent chance of beating Penn State. Third down, 10 to go. Three wide receivers set again. Colvin the lone setback. Two wide outs to the left, one to the right. Zolak back to pass again. Has time. Launches one deep downfield. It is incomplete. Too far for his intended receiver. And it'll be a fourth down for Maryland. Barry Johnson, the intended man that time. Bill, and that's our boy Derek Bonner out there. Excellent coverage. By the way, there was a couple of uh, Nittany Lions birthdays today. Uh, Project, the offensive tackle, and uh, uh, Ruben, the defensive back. It's their birthday today, so we should wish them happy birthday. All right. And they'll enjoy it with a victory. Dandy Armas to punt it away for Maryland. Penn State with Tyson Thomas and Terry Smith at their own 44 with a minute 41 to go in the game. D. Armis has everybody set to go and waits for the snap. Takes a nice snap at the 10, gets the boot away. High kick that is held up by the wind. Fair catch signal by Tyson Thomas, which you don't see very often. And Penn State will have it first and 10 at their own 44. We've got a flag down back at the 20-yard line. But uh, aside from the flag, that, that's a great play by Thomas. He knows, why should I take a chance of feeling a punt at this time, yeah. time in the game? So he goes the safe way. He goes for the fair catch. That penalty was illegal motion against Maryland. Declined by Penn State. First and 10 from their own 43-yard line with a minute and a half to go. And the Lions up by 14, 24 to 10. Couple of third quarter touchdowns did it. A 30-yard pass on a fourth down and long play from Saka to Daniels. And then it was Leroy Thompson on a 10-yard run. Jerry Collins and Brian O'Neill in the backfield in the I formation. Wide receivers split to each side. Tom Bill at quarterback on first and 10. Comes out, looks over the defense. On first down, hands off to Jerry Collins. Straight up the middle. Collins to the 50 and just inside. Uh, Maryland territory at the 49-yard line. And a nice pickup on the play. Mark Sturdivant was there to make the tackle. Pickup of seven yards on the play. Second down and three to go. And we've got a timeout signal by the Terrapins as they want to talk things over and talk about their defense. Well, Penn State's up by 14, 24 to 10. This is the Penn State Sports Network. If you thought the Bella Pennsylvania Yellow Pages was just Yellow Pages, take another look. Did you know it could help you get a great seat at the ball game? Or front row center of the opera? And if that's not your cup of tea, it can help you explore the great outdoors. Bella Pennsylvania Yellow Pages is much more than just Yellow Pages. It's also a guide to your hometown. It'll show you things to do and places to go. It's even got maps and guides to help you get around, on the ground, and off the ground. It can also help you tighten the old purse strings with valuable money-saving coupons. Bet you didn't know your Yellow Pages had all that. But it's not just any Yellow Pages. It's the Bella Pennsylvania Yellow Pages, the book 9 out of 10 people use. Take a look for yourself. You'll see. The more you get into it, the more you get out of it. The genuine Bella Pennsylvania Yellow Pages. No other book can match it. Bella Pennsylvania, a Bell Atlantic company. Penn State with a second down and three. And Shelly Hammonds into the game. Takes the handoff from Tom Bill and picks up maybe a yard or two on the play. Runs into Jim Panagos, the nose guard. A lot of substitutions into the game now for Penn State. Sean Moffat at one tackle. Todd Rucci at the other. Paul Seaver and Mike Heller are at the guards. And uh, I believe uh, Mac Gallagher is into the game at center. And we've got another timeout signal as another break in the action. Remember, the quarterfinal round of the NCAA field hockey tournament will be played Sunday afternoon here at University Park. Penn State takes on the Temple Owls at 1 o'clock on the outdoor AstroTurf field adjacent to Haluba Hall. At stake, 
a berth in the NCAA Final Four. So don't miss the 1990 NCAA Field Hockey Tournament this Sunday at University Park. Also into the game for Penn State, Rick Sales. We didn't see a lot of Rick Sales uh, in the game today, George. Well, we haven't seen much of uh, Rick or uh, Shelley Hammond. You know, the, uh, uh, Joe, Paterno, Joe Paterno always has a reason for doing what he does. Uh, Hammond's still a rookie, and he, he wants, uh, in case Gary Brown's not ready for Notre Dame next week, he wants uh, two experienced tailbacks. Center is E.J. Sandusky now for Penn State, so they've got a whole new offensive line in. Third down, short yardage, O'Neal. And Shelly Hammonds in the backfield. Play action. Tom Bill looking and now will run it straight up the middle. He's at the 45 and down to the 42-yard line. It'll be a first down for Penn State. Under a minute to go in the game. That was a nice move by Tom Bill. He could have thrown that ball. He just wanted to get the first down. So he said, why? Why take a chance? Why should I throw the ball? He had a receiver. He, he saw he could run it, ran it for the first down, and keep that clock running. First and 10, Penn State. 50 seconds to go. They'll reset the chains and start things up again. Rich Rosa and Dan Scripp are the wide receivers in the game. They split to each side. Rick Sales, the tight end on the left side. Now Scripp in motion to the right. Tom Bill has everybody ready to go on the handoff to Shelly Hammonds, sweeping to the left. Gets outside. Hammonds running out of bounds at the 37-yard line. Kevin Pompey pushed him out of bounds there after a gain of five. Clock stops with 29 seconds to go. Well, we, we've seen quite a few Maryland-Penn State games. Uh, this might have not have been the best played or uh, as far as uh, quality-wise, but at least it's not going down to the, <laughs> yeah. the last two minutes, you know, uh, <laughs> which they always do. The last seven Penn State-Maryland games have been decided by seven points or less. This one is going to be a little bit different today. Penn State on the second down and short. Brian Moser with the handoff, bulls it straight up the middle down to the 33-yard line, still about two yards short of the first down. And that will be the final play of this game as the players begin to leave the sideline and come onto the field, and the clock will just continue to run. Penn State wrapping up their seventh win in a row against a stubborn Maryland team today. The defense shutting down Maryland in the second half, and that is the end of this game with a final score, Penn State 24, Maryland 10. We'll be back in a moment on the Penn State Sports Network. From Dairy Center come the top 10 reasons why milk is the choice of Pennsylvanians. Number 10, milk doesn't clog up straw like slushy. Number 9, that surge of joy when discovering carton at rear of dairy case with a later freshness date. Number 8, a delicious glass of milk at University Mixer stimulates talk of dairy genetics and breeding. Number 7, milk complements that Pennsylvania Dutch flatware like nobody's business. Number six, it's the unofficial beverage of Lackawanna County. Number five, Nittany Lion Trainer replacing powdered citrus drink with milk in game coolers. Number four, milk's the ideal pick-me-up after exhausting spells of spring rototilling. Number three, you can't make pudding with soda. Number two, milk's protein makes interstate driving a ball. And the number one reason, it's the nutrition.